there, Chris with LLL Reptile here in Mission Gorge and I want to show you how to set up and use the ZooMed Tortoise House for various species of tortoises as well as turtles. Let's get started. So once you open up everything out of the, uh, out of the tortoise house here, out of the box, the contents are going to look a little bit like this. Now it does give you a bag with some hardware instructions so make sure you don't throw that away, save that. The only thing you're really going to need to assemble this guy is a Phillips head screwdriver and some good old fashioned elbow grease. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we have panel A, B, and E here. Now when you want to start putting these guys together, you'll notice that there's really small pilot holes, not really big ones. It should be fairly easy to, uh, to screw those screws right into it. It's a pretty soft piece of wood. It's durable, but it's definitely soft enough to get this screw through it. So just be determined, make sure everything's lined up, and then you can drive it right through. Cool, now that we have A, B, and E connected, just get that G, um, bottom part right up top. I like to flip it over upside down make sure everything's lined up Then you can go ahead and put the bottom or the base to it Cool, so now that that uh, base is assembled we're gonna flip it over and keep working on the rest of it So I've now installed this little center piece here and now it's time to slide this guy Which is gonna be the separator. It's got the little hole so you can go into his hide or it can go into its hide slide it into the tracks like so Awesome. Next step. All right, next step. Grab the other face of this. Bam, right into the tracks. And then we're going to start working on the top of this with the hinges and little gate parts so that nothing can get in there. Now let's check that out. So when trying to assemble the top, um, I realized I made a little mistake. These latches here should be at the end or on the outside of the cage. And I, uh, I put them upside down the first time around. So don't be a Chris. Make sure that these guys are on the outside facing outward so that the latch um, can, can come in this way so it can close up the top of the tortoise house. So don't pull a Chris. Make sure you get it right the first time. Hashtag pulling a Chris. Let's make that viral. I'm not going to hear the end of this. Moving on. So hashtag pulling a Chris means that you put things on backwards. So let's go ahead and make that a thing. I'll make t-shirts. Now we are in business. Check that out. Sweet. Now on to the uh, the top part. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be able to get latched up here on the side so that this guy can become somewhat predator proof. So you don't have to worry about birds um, and certain little predators that you might have in your area from getting inside, scavenging off of the food that the tortoise or box turtle hasn't eaten, or just from having anything uh, any neighborhood animals just pestering yours. So, let's go ahead and do this last part and we should be done with the ZooMed Tortoise House. Alright, and there you have it. The ZooMed Tortoise House is now assembled and ready for the setup for animal of your choice. Um, so let's go ahead and look at some of the possibilities that you can use, or the, some of the possibilities that are uh, going to be able to be achieved through this new Tortoise House. All right, so here's one of the very many possibilities with the ZooMed tortoise house. We have a little Russian tortoise here. Now he's gonna be basking in the sun a little bit later. There's not a ton of sun out, but you guys get the idea. You can set him up somewhat like this. He's got a little repti ramp bowl so that he can get into the water easy. A nice Missouri pelleted diet, a little hide there, as well as built-in hide, which is pretty awesome. So this is his outdoor enclosure. You can haul it indoors, outdoors. And if you're gonna do an indoor enclosure, you're going to want to set it up very similar to that, where you actually are able to put the UVB right over the top of that screen. With the ZooMed uh, lamp stand, you can put some sort of a heating element over the top, whether it's ceramic heat emitter, infrared bulb, or a basking bulb, depending on the species. So something like this would be ideal for really anything Russian tortoise, Salcata tortoise, leopard tortoises, box turtles, just depends. you got to tweak the setup a little bit, UVB output as well as the heating, even the humidity. Orchid, bikes, uh, orchid bark is a nice uh, all-around bedding that you can use for a lot of different species. So that's kind of what we tossed in there. Now if you guys have any questions on the ZooMed tortoise house, how to assemble it, or how you would set up any of your turtles or tortoises, go ahead and go on to LLReptile.com, call into any of the retail stores, or come on in. Any of us would be more than happy to help you. Have a good one, and we'll see you later. Fine. I didn't want to give you one anyway.